Good morning, basket makers. How y'all doing? Ooh, y'all. We just can't. It's like with so many deals going on. So many deals. Your girl can't stay focused over here. When I say can't stay focused, I mean can't stay focused. So, good morning. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all day is going great so far. So far, so good. We claiming a great day all day. We finna get these baskets done so we can make this money. Right? Or make this shmurney. Okay? Okay. So, before we get started, y'all, I just want to tell y'all what happened, right? Last night. Okay, you know we was out. I think I did a video or a short where I was showing where the baskets from Dollar General, y'all. If you don't know, uh, Dollar General, those large Easter baskets. And let me show you one just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, because sometimes we're visual people. I know I am. I like to see it before I go out hunting because, baby, I'm not good with, with that. So these baskets, some were eight, some were ten as the biggest ones. And they come in, I think they came in this year, blue, purple, pink, and white, of course. And so what ended up happening was I had seen someone say, well, they didn't go on sale. But I was at a Dollar General because I was looking for some yellow sponges. And I just said, let me randomly check. I do want to say, I'm not sure if this is the person, but I want to say uh, decorating with Nessa or something like that. Someone posted, I believe it was her, who posted something about Dollar General. So I said, well, you know what? I'm right here because I ran to Roses, y'all. I'm going to show you what I got there, what I was on the hunt for, rather. Uh, and uh, I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and check in here. So I run one up, which was this medium one, and it's a, a extra dollar twenty off promotion. I said, "What?" Because the sign did still say fifty percent, right? And so I asked the manager. I said, "Hold on, these on sale?" She said, "Yeah." And you know, my math wasn't mathing. Sorry, I think I put on that video twenty five percent, but it was a, a extra twenty percent. I keep uh, forgetting that Dollar General is even numbers. They don't necessarily do 25 like that. They, you know, like other stores, you know, like 50, then 75, then 90. They do 50, then 70, then 90. And then, of course, pin it out. So, anywho, I said, you know what? Hold on. Let me clean, uh, complete this order. And let me get back over here and pick up all the large white ones that she had. Because this is the thing. I do... Um, I may not be using all of these now. These are things that you have to stock up on. See, I know I go into the mall for Christmas, so I have to stock up when they're on clearance. So I have what I need when I need it, not necessarily chasing it uh, when it's time for that holiday. Plus, you're not going to get it at that good of a deal. Because, um, see, $8, that's a lot of money, y'all. Uh, especially when you're doing a lot of baskets, $8 add up real quick. And I promise you, the people who buying your baskets ain't even worried about, uh, you know, I won't, it's hard to absorb $8 into a base. Let me put it like that. So we need to get these on a deal. So then that way we're able to, you know, keep our numbers at a still good number. But, baby, it's hard. It is. It's hard to say $8 for a basket. That's why I'm at the Dollar Tree. I like my dollar twenty-five. I hate that quarter, too. I hate that quarter, too. But for those big, big baskets that I like sitting up, that's what I do. This is where I started that, y'all. At, y'all. These, I had these. And these, back in the day, used to be my large gifts. Now I do my large gifts in the totes from Dollar Tree because a dollar twenty-five is a dollar twenty-five. 
Plus, I will say they give you a lot more variety. As now, Dollar Tree is really getting good with giving you a variety of colors that you can do. Now, what they do with it, the basket, after I give it to them, that's on them. I'm just trying to make it look good for them. Okay. Okay. So, anywho, if you don't know, these are. And they have the small in these two. And so, if you need baskets, this is the best time. Get you kind of, like, what I did was is I got me a, at least six to eight of these big ones. I would really like about six more because I think I paid like $2. Let me see. $2 and some for, that's the wrong receipt, $2 and some for the large. And I'm okay with that number. So, if there's any left, once they hit 90%, um... I'm going to rack up. And the crazy thing is, is I'm going to be in the mall about time that happens. So it's like literally when I get off, I'm going to have to hit me some Dollar Generals or go in early, go looking early before I actually go into the mall, which is hard. Why is it hard? Because your girl is still behind. I still have a lot more that I want to get accomplished. And yes, we got two weeks. So it looks like I'm going to be working every day trying to get everything done before I at least want everything done by the 12th, okay? Don't get me wrong. I got a lot done, but I still need a lot more done, okay? So, yeah. So, that's it on the Dollar General stuff. Now, let's get into talking about what I was out on the hunt for. This was at Roses, y'all. And I'm going to show you this. These were at Roses, and they have them, let me see, in the pink as well. So, they also have it in the pink, like a peachy pink, and this one is a rose. Now, you saying, Joy? Joy, you keep running me out. I knew what I needed these for. I have some Bath & Body Works. Um, that I'm doing with the pink robe, and it's called Rose, what is it called? Okay, Rose Water and Ivy, right? So look. Okay, so in this, you get a um, reed diffuser, a candle, and this is like a little scent tray, right? So what my plan for, because I could have at um, Bath & Body Outlet, they had the rose candle, actually, that was Bath & Body Works, one piece. It was the one wick for $3.88. And I passed on it because at that time, I was doing, moving in a different direction with that. So, I was saying, like, mm, I don't really need that. But, we was out in these streets, in these roses streets, girl, trying to find stuff. And, I said, you know what? This will go perfect on the back of that gift because it will help me feel more real estate. And that would, so I'm changing kind of what I was going to do with it because with the pink bath and body work stuff, I was going to do the foot, this. This is in roses too, y'all. I was going to do this. And I was going to do like a bath salt, um, because this is like three pe three different pieces that the person can do for their feet. Or I guess you could do it. Because it's like you put it, I think you put it in your tub or you could put it in your shower or just, you know, sit it on the floor. But it's supposed to revitalize your foot. So that's what initially I was going to do. And I was going to also put like a bath salt in it and... um some like you know um because this is a pumice i was gonna do that little foot and i'm gonna show you i have it in purple but i need it in pink i know we're actually talking about other gifts but i just want you to see some of this stuff that's out there so i was just gonna put this with it with the bath sauce you know i do like you know i like like the little uh these pieces right here to help make it look bigger that's what i was gonna do with that but now that I found this, this is much more weighty. It's going to be able to sit on the back. And I'm going to move this kind of concept. I got two pink robes from Victoria's Secret. So I'm just going to move them over to that concept because of the item. Item that I got. So let's 
Sorry, y'all. My allergies is, is, is doing something to your girl. So, this is kind of the, the idea that I have for the pink. Now, what we're doing with the blue? The blue is the video that I'm going to show you today. I am going to show you how I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. This. These are the Victoria's Secret house shoes. I'm going to use the Victoria's Secret rose. And this is that funny blue, y'all. I don't know if anybody know what I'm talking about, but it's, it's, some people call it just baby blue. But it's, it has, I don't know, I just call it the funny blue. And I'm going to use these pieces that I have from Victoria's Secret with that. So, in my mind, this is going to be on the back. Now, the reason I wanted to go with the wider one, because I'm going to show you, they also have this. See how that same funny blue? I call it funny blue. It might be just baby blue, you know. But I call it funny blue. And I thought, oh, yeah. But. But. Okay, it's always a but, right? The reason I chose this is because it has more. It's wider, right? These totes are bigger than the ones at Dollar Tree. And I I was looking to see. I was really hoping that Dollar Tree was going to come out with um, this tote. But in that, you know, that blue. This blue, right? Because they have it out. They have it in like hand towel excuse me they have it in the buckets they have it in you know so many different things but for some reason they did not come out with the big buckets like this because usually this is also the time that you i don't know if you go into your dollar trees like i go into dollar tree but they got the hot pink and the blue you know out really big now usually at the same time that that stuff come out the pails like this come out in the hot pink and the uh royal blue um i think it's one other color because I, I know at summertime it usually come out in the red the white and the navy blue so just be on the lookout i hope they do come out with them i have not seen them yet but that's kind of that's kind of the stuff that i stock up on because i know at the time i'm gonna need let's say hot pink or uh, any of them, you know, but most definitely the hot pink and the red and the white is at Valentine and Christmas, right? Well, those are not this because how their stuff fall is at season. So it's not going to always be there when you need them. So you have to prepare, like, because I know I do stuff in sixes, I will always most definitely get me six. But with these kind of things, y'all, I will order by the case because these i use so many of these in my big gifts to create that height that i like to do with my baskets so back to the other video back to this pair this pair though is in and it's pretty y'all you see it's almost like a charcoal gray and so it's gonna go really nicely i'm sorry you see how that's gonna go real nice with that okay so because i couldn't find the blue and then i said you know what i really don't have time to be trying to spray paint nothing so i'm gonna go with the dark color in the robe the black or the charcoal and that's what i found these are $2.99 or $3.99 based on your area i have picked up some for just $2.99 and i have picked up some for $3.99 same pale same store these come from roses y'all and they i think they have the uh let me show you i have the i have it in the white for my pink stuff and then i got it in the charcoal but they have like a dark brown and a light brown that uh, are beautiful as well so when i go back to that area for the 2 dollars i'm gonna go and pick me up six brown and See, dark brown is not a color that I do like that. So, but you know, you never know. And I think that'd be perfect for men gifts. So I'm going to go ahead and pick me up because uh, I know I got four whiskey barrels that I'm going to do for Father's Day. And I know I have the bourbon concept is not in a basket per se. 
Um, but I do have a lot of men, like those light brown house shoes. So I'm trying to see if I want to, how I want to create that in my brain. Because again, I don't know if they're going to be there when I really want them. So sometimes it's best to go ahead and pick them up when you see them. Because sometimes when you get back, somebody, you know, also may be doing what you're doing or period, just needing them. And, um, them things get gone. So, hey, Yummy T. I, I, I picked this idea up from her, um, uh, but I did have a YouTuber subscriber who had, one time I think I was doing best, and she said, well, if you get, um... If you order you some of the priority mail boxes, you can use them in your baskets. Because I be putting a lot of different stuff, y'all. You know, your girl use bags. I use the crates from when I get the candles. You know, th just to build my base. I ain't even, from Dollar Tree, built, um, you know, went and got the boxes so I can have it stable surface top. Because it does work better. But Yummy Tea... Uh, I was looking at her 10,000 giveaway and her um, congratulations again, girl. I am so excited for you. That is a milestone. That is something to be so truly proud of. There you go. Oh, I, I see you, girl. I see you. And yes, I do watch your videos. I don't always comment sometimes because when I am watching you, it's on my tablet. So sometimes you might see my name versus my business name, Baskets and More, because I'm on my tablet. My tablet is going in the background, and sometimes I don't always get to comment. But yes, ma'am, I do watch you. I am so proud of you. I am excited for you. I am so glad you got that. Baby, you claimed it. You claimed it, okay? But I was looking at her video, and she has showed again that box so that triggered me to say you know what i got these boxes downstairs y'all because i was going to on my journey to get started my ebay business which is the same thing just selling things that i uh you know have in my house which is yeah but also to put up some of my baskets and stuff like that and then I was watching Birth and Bosses with Felicia, and um, she was talking about the Etsy. And I was saying, you know what? Thank you, Birth and Bosses with Felicia. You are so right. We need to be on all these different platforms showing our craft because at different places, you never know, you know, who's going to order from work. Because everybody may not be on Etsy, but they may be on eBay. You know, they might love to shop eBay. So I thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, LBE, for the shout out. She was talking about taping down. Babe, I'm going to show you how I'm to tape this down because it's not quite firm in there. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to tape it down. What I would like to do is I always like to put something, when it's, especially when something is not stable, I like to put some of my wrapping paper up under and then put my box because this is what I noticed for me. When I do stuff like this, and even though I tape it down, what still happens is, is I told y'all about my boys. They just be throwing stuff and I be having an attitude and we be going at it, okay? Especially when we moving into the mall. They don't care. They just trying to get it done. Okay, so my stuff be shifting. Then next thing I know, the box, the you know, the box and went down like this. So that's what I would recommend is putting something up under it too when you're using these boxes and it's not a tight fit. But thank all of you ladies because I have been learning from so many different ladies. I cannot name all of them, but I promise you. I am picking up some information from everybody, and that is what a community is. It is sharing what you know and how you do it, and then that way you're picking up thoughts and um, things that how you can, um, what is the word, um, you know, better your craft. That's what it is, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I mean... Ooh, I had a subscriber ask me, you know, do I only use ribbon? Girl, yeah. 90% of the time, I used to do pull bowls. Not custom bowls, but pull bowls back in the day. 
And it used to be on literally every gift. Then I got to the point where I just started doing extra ribbon to make it, you know, look festive without having to put a bow. And I have got away with that in um, a long amount of years. But I'm telling you, all of these bows these ladies are doing, it is just inspiration to me to say, you know what? Okay, it might be time to do bows. Now, when I say I do, I do do bows, but the only time I do bows, bows, is at Christmas. And that's when I'm doing Christmas tree. That's my other side hustle is Joyful Holidays. It is seasonal decorating. So when I'm doing trees and stuff like that, that is something that I do for trees. But it, I just drop the ball, okay? That's it, that's all. I drop the ball. But your girl finna get back on it because I show sure am appreciative. Ooh, I mean, these, baby, the bowls is just amazing. They have to just amazing, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think I got a couple of, uh, you know, these little small Bath and Body Work of Victoria's Secret bags. I'm going to stick it down in the bottom. And we're going to start building this gift because, you know what? We're already at 21 seconds and y'all finna cuss me out. You know y'all going to click through just to get to the end. And then when I do just to the end by putting it on the short, then somebody say, well, why are you not doing videos no more? <laughs> That's why. No, not necessarily just the only reason why. Sometimes it is most definitely when you're trying to, uh, you know, move, move. Sometimes I just don't have the time. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. But sometimes we say we don't have the time, but we're not making the time. I'm not making the time to get up early enough to... And all I'm doing is what's my name like this. So then that way when I'm putting this at the bottom, even if this box shift, that's all I'm doing. Even if it's box shift, it's not going to go down to the bottom and it's not going to tilt sideways. Because the box is not quite a perfect fit to sit inside the box. So I have to um, kind of make this little adjustment. So... Um, you know, make this little adjustment, y'all, so that that way the gift can sit in there right. I'm, I have four of these Victoria's Secret Blue gifts that I got to do, right? And see, so now, even if it shift, it, it won't shift, like, to the side one way or the other. Now, usually, let's, let's talk about what's next. I'm gonna try blue. I might have to go to black. And I'm gonna tell you why. I was at Dollar Tree and I seen the funny blue shreds, right? I keep saying funny blue because to me it is a funny blue. But what's happening, and see on these sides, I'm gonna need some tissue or cello or something to be able to, what's the name? But what I'm trying to do first, is I'm gonna lock it in just across here. And so this blue, which is what I call like the funny blue, is I find that it's in a multi-pack at Dollar Tree with different colors. They have like that, what I call that funny green or that minty green and stuff like that. So I'm pushing it as far down as I can. And now I'm going to lock it in. Now, y'all know I can lock my stuff in because the girl don't have time to be trying to figure that out. Okay. Now I can go back in and on these little sides, I'm going to fill, fill it up with some little, um, like I got some. I told you sometimes when I have to replace a bag, all I'm doing is taking that. Now, this is another reason why I have been enjoying the U-Haul paper. Because with that U-Haul paper, you know, you can go around and fill it. I have, I used to be, I used to work for, um, the Atlanta Journal back in the day. So, you know, I knew I used to get the, my, you know, tissue and stuff like that because, oh, once you 
once that um, week is over, you know, all they do is dispose of the tissue, you know, well, the paper in the back. And so I used to be able to get a lot of it that way. And then over the years, once I, I no longer was working there, right, I was able to, um, you know, go to stores and stuff like that after they get through. Because, see, the stores, what happened in the actual stores that have them, they can't just throw them away because you have to come pick those papers up. And then that's how they get their credit for what was sold like that. So just for anybody who, you know, don't know. And um, so then I just went to like ads and stuff like that. Like let's say I go to Family Dollar and once that week is over, they throw those ads away. And I would just ask, could I get them like that? But YouTube, uh, the U-Haul wrapping paper has just been a godsend because i don't have to rip and run looking for paper picking up you know ads and stuff like that i rather just pay the price and put it into the number because it just helps me that's another step that i don't have to do okay so back to the gift y'all i know this is long and winded but I be trying to, you know, share some of my my why with y'all. So this was the shreds, and it's actually a mixture. And so I wanted to see if it would work. Now, if it don't look right, you know what the girl gonna do. I'm gonna um, cover this with my black. I'm on the doing a video. Um, I'm gonna cover this with my black, and then I'm just gonna add the black. So I like to take the price labels off sometimes. But just in case she may want a different color, I'm going to leave that on. So these sand, these uh, these new robes, they have reduced the price because they used to be like $68, y'all. But now they are saying they are, what is that, $59? Yeah, $59.95. So that ain't bad, y'all. So we're going to look at this two different ways. First way is going to be how this is why I needed the larger box. You see that? I'm going to move it to the side because my goal was I'm going to put the house shoes right here beside it. So I'm going to show you. Hold on. First of all, we got to take price labels off, y'all, because you know what? We cannot be... Telling them what the price is. So let's get that price label off. Oh, I'm doing the most. I'm going to try to move this back so y'all can see it. Now, I, in my mind, I have two different ways that I would like to do this. This is the first way. And I'm going to lock it down. So... I can move around this concept. Okay. This is, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Because that's looking a little slouchy, right? Now, this. Now, I'm overusing, first of all, on uh, tape. That's first of all. Now, let's have a discussion. Because I know over this stuff, first of all. But this is sort of kind of how I was envisioned, right? So, let's look at it. The house shoes is going to go there. I actually thought the bucket was long enough where the house shoes could fit. Like the, like the house shoes, let me use this to show you. 
like this is the box right I was thinking that I would be able to take the house shoes and kind of be like this on the back of that box, which you see it is the same. And basically that's how I was going to have it. But the robe actually is much wider than I thought. Sorry, y'all. Much wider than I thought. So we're going to have to do uh, some adjustments. So... And then, you know, I have this thing about I'm really trying to make gifts look really tall over here. Now, one thing I know, this is going to be changed to black because I'm not feeling it. Even though it's, it's just not working for me. I was trying to keep where the bottom look, didn't look so dark. And I was trying to add some of the blue into like the shreds of going around. But I'm not feeling that. Now, on the back, I'm loving that. This is working with this. This has helped me eliminate a lot. Now, let me show you the other thing that I'm going to do. So, this is the vase, right? And I'm going to take or a candle holder. And I'm just going to do it just like that. And this was crazy, y'all. I knew I've been kind of looking at these uh, Victoria's Secret funny blues for a minute. Because I got it. I have the house shoes in the pink dot just like this funny blue or the baby blue. But this is pretty much how I was the idea for the bag. Okay. So I knew that this set needed to be wide enough versus... versus this one because you see how much more uh square footage that has uh taken uh and so that helps me from not having to put so much now on the front i'm gonna sit this down because i don't want that to break because i only got eight of them so in the front because i thought it was going to be going one way so see that's going to be here or I'm going to do it like that with the spray. Somewhere like that. I don't know. I'm going to work with this a little more, y'all. Because. See, it's almost like the box got it up too high. Because I got so much. Let me move so you can see. See how I got a lot of furniture. But what I might, because I'm going to put black here now, I'm going to just fill that with shreds. And then I'm going to see how. Y'all want to see it? I got Y'all got time. I can show you. And this is what we do when we're trying to, you know, figure out what to do. This is what we do. So... This is my black shreds, y'all. Let me see. I just was looking at it. And what I'm going to go back and do, because I always, I try to share that when you use the color of your shreds, right, it helps you not have to use so much shred. Let me show you. I, I said this. So you see how now all that blue is peeking through? But when you do this way... I'm just using this, you know, y'all. I'm going to go in and, you know, I'm going to fix this. But let's say you do it like this. The same little bit. Look at that. That's the difference. That's the difference when, if you can, use the same color sheet or very close to it. Um, like, I got pastel yellow, but I have, a, like, a gold yellow. So, if if I if I'm using yellow for whatever that what's the name is and I don't have like the gold yellow like my shreds is that golden yellow, um th well that's all I got left. They used to have the um, Pampa House used to have every color, now it's slim pickings. But what I was doing, what I do rather is is I put the lighter yellow, but it's still in the same family. So it helps you to create the illusion of you just not using as much shreds, which makes your shreds go 
longer and you don't have to constantly be picking up and picking up and picking up. I, you know, that's just to help some of us, you know, some of us beginners or anyone, you know, who, you know, just thought, okay, let me just use whatever. This really helps me, and I'm just sharing what has helped me with you. So you see how much better that looks anyway. Now, let me tell you what else look I'm not feeling. How slouchy this robe is looking, right? It looks slouchy. It's pretty, but it looks slouchy, right? And that is the dilemma that I am facing lately. Because it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, you know. Because this is how the side going to look. Um, you know your girl going to... Let me... Look, I'm still in flower job from different areas. But let me show you. And I'm, I'm low on these flowers, but I, I hate it. Uh, that I haven't came across a big pretty blue one or uh, add roses. Um, but I do remember at Michael's, y'all, after Christmas, because they had what I call this funny blue. And I looked at that bush and looked at that bush. And then I said, well, I don't need that bush. I don't have nothing I need that bush for. This is what I needed that bush for. You, you feel me? And you see now how that a bigger bush for your bigger gifts will help fill that space, right? So that's how it's starting to look. Now, another thing that I had thought about with the house shoes, I could put like um, Dollar Tree has the same pretty funny blue. I keep calling it funny blue, y'all, but I was going to put like the little foot um, scrubber or whatever because when, anytime you got lotion, you can add in like, some, especially with house shoes, you can add that in and that would help like tie in the lotion, something for the foot. And it's another little $1.25 item, especially for $200 baskets. You can build them up a little more. Now this is already 40 and 60. So that's already, we already at a hundred. Not including, you know, what's going on on the back, which is in this case, gonna be the fragrance y'all. See, that's why you lock stuff down. It fell off because I did not lock it down. But um, these I just thought was cute. And then I scored these, y'all, for a dollar, too. I did this in my haul. And so that that it is. Th that's it. That's all. <laughs> okay? But, yeah, I know this is long. I'm going to put this up on a short. I'm going to go in because this video is getting real long, y'all. And I am going to fix the, fix the, um, the base. So then I can do that. Now, this is what I want you to let me know. And I, because we don't have a lot of time, I didn't want to keep y'all too much longer. But I started doing some roses this way. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you this one because this is the gray one. I'm going to do a video on it, y'all. But you see how... I, I put that robe up and it was able to sit up high. Now, I got, and so the robe don't look slouchy. You actually see the robe and you tell me, should we make it tall? So then that way they can see it. Now, what I did is on the back, I'm playing with this. Um, back pillow. Uh, I have some of these. These from Dollar Tree too, y'all. Uh, foot scrubs. I'm thinking I'm going to move that right here and I'm going to put a face mask right here in the yellow. And then I have the Everyday Fresh Mug. I guess this is like a little mini video, but I want to show you, you know, this one in a separate. But you let me know which one you like. Um, as my uh, mother-in-law said, you like it juicy looking. You know, this is what she called a juicy looking one, y'all. But she said it looks juicy, it looks full, you know, like that. She said the other one looked like, even though it has the same items, like in all the gray pieces, it's going to be the same pieces. She said it just looks, I guess, more slim, slender. So, yeah, so I'm showing you this one last time. 
What do y'all think? It will be the same way. I will have the robe sitting up higher. You will see it more. The house is, is going to be on the side. The, perf the fragrance set is going to be on the back. And the flower is going to be on the back. Let me know down in the comments down below, y'all. Because when you're asking two, you want it to look good. And I want it to look good. And I'm struggling. That's why some of this stuff is still sitting here. Because I struggle too. Okay? I struggle too. I, you know, I, it, because it, sometimes what's in your brain don't translate into the gift. Now, I knew this is kind of sort of how I was going to do. Like I said, I didn't know this was going to be so wide that um, the house shoes actually is more to the side. I thought the house shoes was going to be like the robe and the house shoes side by side. And then I was going to add the uh, sassy and chic um, foot uh, pumice uh, stone that's in the same color as this blue. And I was going to have my one piece, my fragrance spray was going to go on the back with this, the what I call like the home decor side. And then the lotion was going up front because I was going to also have the pedicure little piece up there. That's how my brain was working. And guess what? You see how tight this bucket is? This, and, and you know, this, I did this this way for a long time. So when I came up with that other way, it's like, I think it's hard for me to decide. Y'all let me know. It still fits in my extra large bag. So either way, it's going to fit in that extra large bag. So let me know. I most definitely know I'm changing this and that's going to be, you know, fix that problem right there. So, yeah, y'all, that's it. That's all. I will see y'all in the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.